Hello everyone, I'm Xu Weizhi from Institute of Automation Chinese Academy of Science. Here I will introduce our proposed hierarchical model based on graph representation learning to alleviate some problems existing in ad hoc retrieval before. This is the outline of my speech today. First of all, let me show you the main motivation of our work. The first motivation is that the fine-grained long-distance world relationship in the document has not been explored so far. Let me show you the example on the right side of the screen to illustrate it. Two boxes on the top of the picture represent the query and the document segment respectively. The query involves three keywords, long close, expo, and trend. We first extract some related words in the document based on the word semantic similarity. And you can see that those two keywords, long, close, and expo, are distributed in consecutively. Their interaction signal can be modeled via the high order graph structure, which cannot be captured by previous sequential based methods. Secondly, the different grain size hierarchical signals at a more general level are almost ignored. The hierarchy mainly refers to two aspects. One is that the words unrelated to the query are dropped, such as marvel and sleek. Another is that the words which may have similar effects for matching the query are integrated to a more general node. For example, Santa Monica and Los Angeles are integrated to a more general word node named location. Next, I will briefly review the related work in this task. Uh, the related work can be divided into two groups. The earlier pipeline is called semantic matching base, where methods usually embed the representation of query and document into two low diverge spaces independently and then obtain interaction signals based on these two representations. Uh, the representative uh, work includes DSM, CDSM, and ARC1. They follow the same paradigm mentioned before and just have differences in the embedding function, such as MLP in DSM, SM, and CNN in CDSM and ARC1. Recent work is always re uh, relevance matching based, since they discover that modeling exact interaction signals are more important for ad hoc retrieval. They first modeled query document pairs jointly where the interaction signals is fed into the model. And the highlighted work includes DRMM, KNRM, PACR, and core PACR. Specifically, DN DRMM utilizes MLP to model the interaction signal. KNRM uses a kernel function. PACR and call PACR both employ CNN. Though they have achieved promising results, we argue that the hierarchical relationship has not been mined thoroughly. And here comes so here comes the part of methodology. Let me introduce the problem definition first. Uh, the input of this task is a query and a group of document candidates. And the, the end of this problem is to rank a series of relevant scores based on the interaction of each query document pair. Then I will show our, uh, our solution named GHRM. Uh, here is the, uh, is, is the overall framework. Uh, our framework is mainly divided into two parts. The first part is the co uh, graph con construction, and uh, the second part is the graph-based hierarchical matching. Uh, it includes a uh, graph representation learning layer and a uh, graph hierarchical signal modeling unit named RSAP based on the attention graph pooling technique. At each step, the filter uh, representations will be read out and finally construct the overall signal for prediction. Next, I will introduce the details in each part of the proposed method. For, for graph construction, we obtain graph stru structure based on the word occurrence in a fixed sliding window, then generates the in initial 
the initial node features according to similarity between the words in the query and the document. For graph-based hierarchical matching, there are two main components. We first applied GGNNs to propagate node features to their neighbor. Then we utilize another one-layer GGN model to produce the attention score metrics for each node. Inspired by the work named SAG pool in the domain of graph pooling, based on the, the based on the attention score, we employ a hot attention mechanism to discard the nodes so that redundancy information that is not related to the task will be abandoned. In order to aggregate node features to make a fixed size representation as the query document relevance signal, we select a fixed size number of features via the max pooling strategy. Eventually, considering that different query words may have different importance for retrieval, we further provide a gated network to measure the contribution of each word in the query. We use the pairwise hinge loss functions to train the model as previous methods always do. Next, I will introduce the experiment part. We utilize two frequently used public datasets to test our model. The overall results are shown on the screen. It can be obviously seen that our method GHRM outperforms other models by a significant, math, uh, by a significant margin. One exception is the BERT on the dataset Robust 04. However, BERT relies on perfect word embeddings and GHRM only utilizes embeddings pre-trained by word vector to keep a fair comparison with baselines. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed hierarchical signaled modeling units, we conduct an evolution study and re the results shows that GHRM is superior to its variant without hierarchical signal modeling units on all datasets and metrics. We also analyze the sensitivity of GHRM to hyperparameters and results are shown in, on screen. Finally, let me make some conclusion of our work. The most significant contribution is the hierarchical modeling unit, which can capture different grain size information. And we also uh, do extensive experiments on two representative ad hoc retrieval benchmarks. And this demonstrates the effectiveness of GHRM over various baselines, including traditional baselines and deep learning based methods, which validates the advantage of applying graph based hierarchical matching signal to ad hoc retrieval. And that's all. Thanks for your listening.